Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, now, you can't see my head. If I lean down here, you can, but um, it doesn't matter. It's more important that you see what's going on. Uh, I want to talk about FET preparation. Now, I already talked to you. Uh, when you get these delivered, you might find that they haven't adjusted it properly um, when they've done it in the factory. Um, so what I suggest you do is you use an Allen key and you just go around these outside ones. And you just make sure that they're all about the same um, tension so you're just feeling it by by fingers and what you should do is you should just kind of listen to that sound make sure it's the kind of same all the way around that'll give you a good ear for the tension now also if you if you put it in front of your mouth and you you sort of speak especially this way around you can get it could kind of be a kind of echo you should have that kind of bouncing echo so it basically is it's it's tight enough but it's pinging and you don't want it loose so you want to make sure that it's kind of a little bit tight not too tight just kind of like can you do it like that you know just two fingers tight and they should all be the same all the way around with your nice clean bep because uh, like I said to you I found that a few of these were loose they're actually loose so at that end was popping and that's what was pulling probably what was pulling the prints off of the bill plate so my next thing to do is before I do it remember I did it each time I don't tighten these up each time I only do it once um, but each time I do I use this print I clean this out and I redo it now we're talking about cleaning later when we actually get into doing all the prints uh, but I've got a tooth I've got a um, toothbrush I've got a brush nice nice soft brush yeah nice soft brush and um, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have a little alkali al alkali alcohol wipe and that I'm just kind of wiping this down so it's all nice and clean and also inside that it's nice and clean as well yeah you want to make sure everything's nice and clean when you're working um, for sure and throw that in the bin uh, but the next thing to do is get my oil my PTFE oil here which I have a little bit of this and I just put the brush into it just a little bit just to pull a little bit of that liquid up and then I go around inside my FEP and I kind of just uh, it goes a long way you might not even think that's why I use a soft brush and if you've used the, this a few times you'll actually see there's like a little cloudy layer on the FEP and we're basically making it all nice and clear but what we're actually doing is we're putting a layer of that oil on the top if you can see that and there's little dots you can probably see little kind of dots yeah um, that's fine I've had no problems with that but you can just go down. I generally go across it like this. I go over it a few times. Remember your brush has got to be nice and soft. You don't want anything going to scratch this FEP. I go over it like this a few times. Yeah. And also check for hairs from the brush. Use a good quality brush. Once I've got that set like this, I'm then going to put it in to our photon. So open that lid up. And now I'm going to get this and I've got these out okay these are nice and out um, I'm gonna try not to touch the LCD when I push it in so I'm gonna push it like this and then I'm gonna kind of tilt it back and just slide it very delicately till it hits those back screws bang bang it's hit the back so I just push it two fingers now you it doesn't matter which way round really so I push it two fingers so I'm home and I tighten this one up so it's a little bit tight yeah just so it's just touching it will fit into the little slots of the FEP and now I do the other one yeah and what I'm looking for is for it to be evenly pressured so I want the same strength either side so I now tighten that one up I go back to that one tighten up that one tighten that one so it's about the same now that is set up for my resin to go into that so at this stage I can leave that and I can close the lid and my FEP is now prepared ready for print okay so now I've done that 
I have my resin. I'm not going to put my resin in yet because in the next lecture, what I want to do is I want to talk about loading the firmware on to the Photon S. So we'll be looking at uh, any Cubic site. I'll be showing you where their firmware is um, on this date. It's the 28th of Feb 2020. So um, I'll be showing you where the firmware is now. Of course, they might move it, so it might not be relevant, but it will be on the AnyCubic site. Um, I also put the lid back on this, and I always use the same brush for the oil. I don't mix my brushes around. All right, so that's done. Our FEP is now prepared. We now need to make sure we've got the right firmware on the Photon S, the most up-to-date version, okay? And once that firmware is put on there, I'll show you how to put that on there, we're then gonna show you um, that I'm not gonna use the slicer software that comes with the Photon S because um, fo the Photon S firm, um, slicer software is actually based on what's called Chitu Box. Now, it is better to use Chitto Box than it is to use the slicer software from Photon. I have found, okay? This is personal choice. But if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, I'm using Chitty Boxes, which has the option for the Photon S on it as well. So next lecture is adding the firmware to this. Make sure that you've got a nice, clean USB stick. And we'll talk about this in the next lecture where we'll be looking at loading the firmware on to your Photon S. Now that is the FEP prepared, ready to go, nicely oiled put in, tightened up equally on both sides. Do one side, the other side, that side, finally that side. Make sure it's firmly sunk to the back, so everything's level. So our build plate's level, our FEP is nicely oiled, and it's pushed in there, okay? And you've checked that it's tight all the way around. As long as you've done those things, we're all ready to go to move on. So do not move on until you have done those things. Let's move on to the next lecture.